Police in Minneapolis are investigating two shootings just a block away from each other. Two men were killed and a woman injured. According to police, the shootings also occurred within minutes of each other, first in a car parked on Colfax Avenue and then at an apartment complex on Bryant. WCCO's Jonah Kaplan reports now on what we know and what's ahead of the detectives on the case. Investigators this afternoon still spending several hours canvassing the area, talking to witnesses, collecting evidence. They obviously want to know, is there some connection between the shooting over here, the shooting over there, and did the suspects that they're looking for and the people that were injured and killed, did they know each other? But to a lot of folks here, the collateral damage, that is the main threat and continues to affect their sense of security. Living in the city, many residents telling us they've heard gunshots before, but there was something much different this time. It was rapid and, and it was regular, right? More rapid than somebody would, could pull a trigger. This neighbor, John, not wanting to appear on camera, was among the first to dial 911 just after 11.30 Wednesday night. But I didn't want to expose myself or anything if there was still people with guns out on the street. So I just called 911 to report it. As I was talking to dispatchers, I was able to look out my, my, my window. And, I, and that's when I saw the, there was a black SUV. According to police, two people were found shot inside that SUV. A man killed and a woman taken to the hospital. Family members on Thursday identifying the victim as 24-year-old Khalil Bryant. They said Bryant lived in Robbinsdale but was visiting friends in Uptown. Detectives report they recovered a gun next to his body. A second shooting a block away killed another man in his 20s. Investigators found him in an apartment hallway. We're always concerned about uh, the lack of sanctity of, of life for those who, are, who have no dignity or care for the dignity of others. Police hope security footage from apartment buildings and doorbell cameras can help in their investigation. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO 4 News.